What's up guys? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, GG, this one's for you. You recommended that I do a video on stuff that has hidden cards. So, I'm going to do my best. We're going to go into uh, my favorite Wally world. <laughs> Insert sarcasm. I hate funny. <laughs> but, um, we're going to go in there and see what we can find that maybe you didn't think about having some hidden carbohydrates. Or even sugars. So let's go check it out. Okay, I was gonna say drink the damn water. And I just drank like a giant piece of paper out of my water. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it got in there. That was disgusting. All right, guys, let's go cruise around and see what we can find. Okay, not a huge one, but this is definitely a factor. A lot of people will cook with garlic, like minced garlic or whatever. Per teaspoon, this is going to be one carbohydrate. So if you put a tablespoon in that would be three carbs, just like that, minced garlic. All right, next thing is going to be one of the salad bowls. Really, see that open. Those little salad bowls that people pick up for lunch and they post on Instagram and stuff. Oh, right, blah, blah, blah. And that may be true, but if you're trying to fall Atkins or something like that, or a little carbohydrate uh, meal plan, this is not going to work. And it's funny because I picked up the one that has seemingly just cheese, meat, and uh, ranch and lettuce, right? Flip it over, and it has 10 carbohydrates, and 1 fiber, plus 4 sugars. This is literally over a half a day's worth of food um, that you would be using Atkins hit the jackpot in like two seconds. Meatballs, four grams of carbs. Chorizo, two grams. Bratwurst, three grams. Okay, now for ground beef. Apparently, if it says patty versus burger, it's going to be not the same thing. Yeah, one gram. This one says patty. 5 grams of carbs, this one says patty, 2 grams of carbs, this one says burger, 0 carbs, this one says burger, 0 carbs. Watch out for those sneaky little words. So, general rule of thumb, anytime anything has seasoning on it, flip that sucker over, we got 2 carbs, this one's got a little bit of seasoning, flip it over, we got 1 carbs. That's not a huge deal. A couple here and there add up throughout the day and that makes it a huge deal. Okay, so I will say for bacon, usually 90% of the time you get it perfectly fine. Sausage, on the other hand, is a little bit tricky. Okay, work, look out for keywords like honey, keywords like maple. Usually that means sweet. Are they sweet? I don't know. Four grams of carbs, two grams of carbs. That does not look like regular sausage. It's got like that tint of seasoned to it. Carbs. Over here to one that does not look like classic. One carb. That's what it should be. Down there, next to nothing. Kielbasa, a lot of the times, people don't realize carbohydrates definitely in there. They can be acceptable, but you're going to have to count those into your daily deal. Okay, so I get it. Maybe some of you guys are eating hot dogs. Yes, it's made out of a pork butt. <laughs> a pig's booty. So I recommend you don't do it. Um, but I know many of you going to because they're cheap, they're quick, they're fast, they're easy, whatever. So they will vary all over the place. Uh, turkey ones, a gram. I saw a cheaper one, where was it? Over here, four grams. And maybe like all beef would be two grams. And they vary all over the place. Also, if you're going to get lunch meat, the one, um, this one, was, that's it. Two grams, because it says honey on it. The one that I found, does work. Okay, so it's clearly right next to my hand, boiled ham. <laughs> it just looks like the same package. Um, zero grams of carbs. 
and which is at 16 ounces so that could be get you through like three or four days um, and I used to use that a lot I use that or like a deli meat fresh from the deli also read those packages because they work very widely um, to get myself through um, hard hungers and stuff like that um, oh, it looks like they have another one now carbs zero smoked ham or the boiled ham will both work let's see there's that key word, honey, right? Look at that, two grams. Imagine that. Watch out for those key words, guys. Ham and cheese. I bet you there's some carbs in there. For some reason, I feel there is. Yeah, sure enough, it's only the same amount of ham and cheese, which is both no carbs. Sure enough, it's got carbs. Isn't that interesting? And then there's a general rule of thumb. Walk up to something like this. A lot of people say there's no cheese, there's no carbs in uh, cheese or whatever. Apparently, it's smoky bacon, cheddar, bacon, cheese. It's kind of like bacon and stuff. Too far. Too far. Okay, this is a big one right here the cream cheese. And I tell you guys a lot to look out. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of cream cheese. Two carbs. Obvious, but they may not be. Cinnamon sugar, <laughs> four grams of carbs, and that's in your butter. We have even a garlic and herb on here that's got one gram. These add up, people. If you said, if I said in one of your meal plans, three tablespoons of butter throughout the day, that's three extra carbs. Boom, say goodbye to ketosis. Side note if I recommended any butter, it would be. Beautiful carry gold. It's amazing. Grass fed butter. Alright, real quick, Halo Top. Now, you guys hear this a lot. Everybody's like, oh, Halo Top, raving about it. This is Wally World, it's still four bucks in a pint. Okay, so let's do a little bit of math here. Check this out. You think Halo Top is real good for you as far as like low carb, not for Atkins, okay? If you reduced your carbs, sure, maybe, but not for this. Uh, total carbohydrates, 16, minus three, minus five for the sugar alcohol, minus three for the dietary fiber. So eight, minus 16 is eight. How many servings? Half a cup. So servings per container. So you go eight times four. What is eight times four? 32. 32 carbohydrates in this. That's a whole, day and a half's worth of freaking food. All right, it's not gonna work. And then, give me the sugars. Seven times four, 28. No go, guys, no go. If you ask about this ranch dip, is it the same for ranch as it is for ranch dip? Can I use this for my celery and stuff like that? Well, uh, according to the direction, or the uh, carbohydrates there, tablespoons, so it's a carbohydrate more than each two tablespoons of ranch dressing. Therefore, the answer is no. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the hell this area is. Apparently it's like a slightly cold section by the that and that. It's trying to convince us that they're hungry. But these look interesting. <laughs> so I grabbed them. They're like little, little bites of something. And I just wanted to point something out. But this says what? What does that say? Read that for me. No sugar added. What does that mean? It makes you think no sugar. Oh, honky. Two grams of sugar. Okay, so there's clearly going to be 85,000 <laughs> selections when it comes to peanut butter. Um, this one's actually pretty popular. A lot of people are going for the honey roasted. Just wanted to show you because I could show you peanut butter all day long. Um, total carbohydrates, 10. Sugars, 8. Alright. We go for something regular, like good old Skippy or something. Um, because you got 6 and 2, you're only at 4. And that's a lot better than 10. 
Okay, so here we got Miracle Whip. And granted, I grew up on Miracle Whip. I'm a Miracle Whip kid. Okay. Versus Mayo. Miracle Whip. Two grams. Miracle Whip tastes so good because it's not really freaking mayo. Mayo's not that great, but you get used to it. Carbs, zero. Okay, I'll show you a couple here. Chicken broth, sorry about the kids in the background screaming. But uh, vegan broth protein is going to have nine grams of carbs. Beef broth, we got one gram of carbs. Chicken broth, one gram of carbs. Now, don't freak out, most of them don't have carbohydrates, but it's important that you just make sure by looking at if every package of every one. <laughs> You're that kid. So this area is a big area for everybody. Trying to get rid of that stuff, trying to get into this stuff, like sugar alternatives and stuff like that. You think you're going healthy because it says like natural or stevia or whatever. Okay, so this says stevia. It's got four carbs, all right? And total sugar is two. What the f <laughs> Calm your butt down. Less than one. We got two, nine. That's from all kinds of different places, so please just focus on what you are buying. Try to stick with the same thing each and every time. Let me see if they got it. Uh, they got a liquid stevia, no calories. It's got zero carbs. Um, I personally use like Sweet and Low. I've used this one before. I'm not gonna say any of it's good for you. Any of that stuff probably needs to be regulated and not be consuming too much of it. There are a few aisles that I would have you completely avoid. The cereal aisle, snack food aisle, soda aisle, and such. Let's dive into a little bit of this real quick. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon has six grams of carbohydrates. You're probably thinking, well, I don't use it for six grams. I don't use a whole tablespoon, okay? Well, maybe throughout the day you did. Okay, a couple teaspoons, three times a day. Boom, you're up over. This. 4.4 grams of carbohydrates per tablespoon. Pepper's freaking even not even that great. <laughs> not even that great. Allspice, 4.3 grams of carbohydrates per tablespoon. 5 grams, 7 grams. Pay attention, guys. I know you won't be using tablespoons of all of these things, but think about it. Throughout the day, I could easily add a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now there's a couple alternatives. You could use regular salt. You can use garlic salt, not powder, not powder, not powder, because that just means it's ground up and it's of its larger content. All right, next thing, jerky. It's just meat, right? Wrong. This jerky, six grams of carbs per serving, okay? It's one ounce. Who's gonna eat one ounce, all right? You can easily polish off this bag. How many servings in that? Six times six, 40 carbs, 50 sugars. This is one of the lowest ones I found at two carbohydrates per serving. Serving size is about 10 strips, so that's a lot more that you get to eat. Okay, and one final one before we get out of Walmart. We've been here too damn long. Ketchup. People ask about this a lot. Five grams carbs per tablespoon. Although now they have an option of no sugar added, which is kind of cool. And I think that's gonna have just like an artificial sweetener in it. And total carbs, one. Sugar's one, that's, that's not bad. Okay, remember that's per tablespoon, not per pile. And I just grabbed this because what the hell, slime? That's disgusting. What's wrong with people? Okay guys, that is the gist of items that you may find in your daily regimen that could be holding you back on your success. Most of those are not gonna be issues if you are paying attention to labels, okay? There's a couple that you might wanna watch for that I didn't get a chance to, I've literally Please <laughs> understand the sacrifice I made. It just worked out and I just literally went through Walmart for two hours listening to screaming children and people freaking 
getting pissed off at each other, all kinds of arguments, and I had to get out of there. I'm just, I'm done. A couple things that you want to look for is cough syrups, cough drops, medicines in general. A lot of things, products, are not required to endorse their products with nutrition facts if they don't have enough of a value, okay? So if a whole bottle of, say, NyQuil contains three sugars, but it's not enough to measure like per serving, then sometimes they won't put it on the label. So you need to pay attention to these things. You need to be sharp about stuff. If something's sweet, why is it sweet? It's sweet for a reason. First of all, because if it wasn't sweet, it would be disgusting. You wouldn't want to take it. Second of all, it's sweet because there's something added in there. Sugars, carbs, something's in there, okay? Be smart enough to catch these things. Realize if something says low carb, it's probably not low carb enough for what you're doing. If something says low fat, don't eat it, okay? If you're on Atkins or keto, you want those fats. You're trying to become fat adapted. Fat on a food is not the same as fat on you, okay? It's not the same thing. So please don't get sucked into that. Also remember when picking out a product, just because you've picked out peanut butter before a hundred times, if you randomly notice that the label has changed or something like that, periodically look at the same product. If it says new and improved, that means there's a bunch of shit in there that you don't know what it is, okay? The other thing is, if you're going for one peanut butter and you think all peanut butters are created equal and you grab another one, it's not. It can be, it can be double three times the amount of what you're used to. And if you're incorporating these things into a meal plan, you got five or six slip-ups throughout the day, you think you're eating 20 carbs, but you're eating 50, okay? I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying that to freak you out. I'm saying it because it's easy to screw up. Also, don't let that bother you, okay? Just be aware of what's happening. Don't think... Oh, I gotta go so strict, I'm not gonna eat nothing. You know damn well there's plenty of Atkins, plenty of Ketos, um, plenty of all kinds of recipes. Jennifer Archie Ness puts really good stuff in there that can be acceptable for all plans, okay? So please, if you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, once you go to the Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description below. Once you go to the Facebook group, answer those three questions, or depending on what we feel about that day, we may not let you in, so please. If you're selling stuff, we are not buying it. There's no magic pill, there's no magic weight loss. Calories in, calories out. Exercise in, exercise out. We all learn in that stuff. We're not buying your magic weight loss butterfly wings that make you fly through the air and crap out weight. It's not true, all right? It's not true. Guys, have a good day. Hashtag be stronger than excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Keep kicking butt. You're doing amazing. GG, I hope it helps.